Then I'm going to add a little brightness and contrast, also drag this one on top of the track. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last After Effects tutorial of today. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make amateur footage look professional. Okay guys, so as you guys can see I am vlogging with my phone camera because let's say in this video I'm going to show you guys how to um, make you know the footage look you know professional. Let's say you have like an amateur you know kind of video footage like my phone for example that you don't have money like for this huge ass camera as you guys can see. So if you want to, if you just want to, if you need to stick with what you have, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to, even though you use your phone, how to make it like really like how to make it professional with you know with some effects on it. So basically, so let's say you filmed yourself or you filmed a video with your phone camera that isn't the best quality, and you're saying like, dude, I don't want to spend like four hundred dollars on like this, you know, this DSLR camera, or I don't want to spend four hundred dollars on, on on like a GoPro. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to make your amateur footage look professional, like just you know, film with your phone. I am going to show you guys how to do that today. So I would say let's jump straight to the actual video. Okay, guys. So as you guys can see, we are on After Effects, and what I'm going to do now is, as you guys can see, this is filmed with my Samsung phone so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply three effects to it I'm going to apply sharpen brightness and contrast and color correction so let's start off with the sharpen one so we want to go to the right of the screen and, you, and in that little box and you want to type in sharpen you want to drag that on top of your track and then as you can see at the top you can choose like how sharp you want it so I'm going to play around with it a little bit until it looks like really good so as you guys can see this is way too much um, so I'm just going to go up until everything looks like pretty nice. So let's say this looks good already. This looks already pretty good. So I think that looks good for the, you know, for the sharpen. That looks way better. So I'm going to leave that for the sharpen how it is like this. Boom. And then I'm going to move on to, I know it's really simple guys, but I would, I would, I would like to keep those tutorials very really simple. So that is how you apply the sharpness at first. Then I'm going to add a little brightness and contrast. Also drag this one on top of the track. Now you can see at the top above me, you can also choose the brightness and the contrast. So I'm going to start off with messing with the brightness first. So, <clears throat> so let's say this is way too much as you can see, and this is way too less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it looks like that good so this is bad this looks pretty good actually guys also mess around with the contrast a bit so as you guys can see this is this is way too less this is way too much as you can see so i'm this so, so i'm looking for something like in between so as you guys can see i would say this looks pretty nice so this is actually look how how epic it is guys look how you know how good it looks because i don't know just for, just by a few simple effects guys it's freaking amazing so as you can see right here my phone camera because let's say in this video with my phone camera so that looks Pretty good already. So what I'm going to do now, the next and the last thing is I'm going to add color balance. So it's works the same. Just go to the right at the bar. And then you just want to type in color B. So you get color balance. And then you also drag that on top of the track. Above me, there appears a lot of stuff. So I'm going to make them, you know, disappear real quick. So let's start off with the first one, which is the shadow red balance. So let's start messing off, mess around with this one. So as you guys can see, this is weird and this is too red. So I'm just going to go for, look for something in between. And I would say this looks pretty nice, actually. So let's move on to the next one, which is the, you know, the shadow green balance. And let's see how that's going to look. As you can see, this is way too red. This is way too green. So also something in between. So let's say about this looks nice. Moving on to the third one, which is the shadow blue balance. So let's see what we're going to do with that one. That's, that's, this is way too yellow orange. This is way too blue. So I'm just going to go for, look something for in between. So I would say this looks good. Moving on to the next one, which is called the Midtone Red Balance. And I'm also going to match up with that one. This is way too blue. This is way too red. Also for something that looks like this. That looks nice. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Highlight uh, Red Balance. So let's move on again. So let's see. This looks perfect, actually. So let's mess around with the Highlight Green Balance, as you can see. And I would say this looks perfect pretty decent this boom that looks awesome guys look at look how it looks and then the last one the highlight blue balance is i'm going to mess around with that one a bit so i'm going to go blue let's go back so i would say this looks really nice guys so believe it or not this is a phone footage believe it or not this is filmed from a freaking cell phone camera as you guys can see it's freaking amazing guys look at the footage 
I mean, it looks like it's filmed from like a, like a GoPro or a Canon camera. And the quality is just insane, as you can see right there. So it's freaking amazing, guys. That is how you make it look, you know professional like this is like a phone camera are you gonna are you guys believing this it's like just filmed with Samsung phone and like those really simple effects can do so much that is basically how you improve the quality guys and make it look professional so that is what I'm this now you can start go ahead and filming with your phone and apply those you know filters and those um, three effects sharpness brightness and contrast and a color corrector and basically you are good to go that is what I'm this guys that is how you make your amateur footage look professional you just want to apply some really nice you know uh, um, easy you know uh, effects to it and then it looks way way better as you guys saw in the video so if this video went by too fast make sure to rewind it and pause it because you guys can all also do this with any type of amateur footage like 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 a phone or something else I don't know so that's the video guys I want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video and I will see you guys tomorrow for two OBS tutorials so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow in about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May, and then I find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking troll. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tie with just Alex Halford. You know, it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.